Now the first step is to simply restart your computer. So restart your computer once and after the system restart, you can launch the game and then check. Next step is to select DirectX 11 when you launch the game. So you can click on play and over here you can select play DirectX 11 and then click on play. If you are already selecting DirectX 11, then you can try play DirectX 12 and then check and check which one is working fine for you. You can even try the same thing in uh, launch option so make a right click on the game select properties in the launch option type in dash dx11 and then you can close this and then launch the game and then check if that does not work you can this time type in dash dx12 and then you can launch the game and then check now it's still not working in that case you can remove this and then follow the next step now the next step is to run the game as an administrator from the game installation folder now for this make a right click on the game select manage then click on browse local files it will take you to the game installation folder now over here you can see the game exe file so make a right click on the game exe file select properties and then go to the second tab now go to the second tab and then put a check on the box which says run this program as an administrator then hit apply click on ok and then make a double click and launch the game still not working make a right click once again go to properties and this time put a check over here and then select windows 8 hit apply click on ok launch the game and then check still not working this time put a check on the box which says now select windows 7 and then put a check on the box which says disable full screen optimization hit apply click on ok make a double click launch the game still not working open this ws folder binaries win64 and do the same thing with this exe file make a right click select properties and then go to this tab and then do the same thing run this program as an administrator hit apply click on ok launch the game and then check if that does not work put a check over here select windows 8 hit apply click on ok if that does not work you can select windows 7 over here and then hit apply click on ok and again if that does not work put a check on disable full screen optimization hit ok and then launch the game and then check still not working so when you put a check on all these boxes still it's not working then you can uncheck these boxes and then hit apply click on ok and then go back and do the same thing with the first exe file so make a right click select properties and then uncheck all these boxes and then hit apply and then click on ok and then follow the next step the, the next step is for now if you're using windows security then allow the game exe file to windows security now if you're using any third party antivirus like komodo avast avg mcafee norton bit defender then allow the game exe file to your antivirus program now windows security users can open windows settings and then go to privacy and security if you have windows 10 if you have windows 11 then you will have an option update and security click on update and security and then click on windows security now click on virus and threat protection scroll down at the end you will see manage the ransomware protection now click on it and then click on allow an app through control folder access click on yes to allow and then click on add an allowed app browse all apps and then go to the game installation folder now if the game is installed in c drive then open c drive program files x86 now open the steam folder now open the steam apps folder and then open the common folder and over here you will see the game exe file open the game exe file select the exe file and then click on open again click on add and loud app browse all apps and this time open this ws folder binaries win64 select this exe file and then click on open now type in control panel in windows search box and then click on control panel go to system and security windows defender firewall click on allow an app through windows defender firewall click on change settings then click on allow another app click on browse and then again go to the game installation folder and then open the game folder select the game exe file click on open and then click on add in my case the game is already added again click on allow another app click on browse open this ws binaries then open win64 select this exe file and then click on open and then click on add once the game is added over here now click on ok on the bottom 
and then launch the game and then check. Now it's still not working. The next step is to update Windows to the latest version. So open Windows settings and then go to Windows update or update in security and then click on check for update. Once all the updates are installed, now restart your computer and after the system restart, launch the game. Next step is to perform a clean installation of your graphics driver. So if you have Nvidia card, go to Nvidia website. If you have AMD card, go to AMD website. I'm showing for Nvidia. So go to Nvidia website, select the right product type for me it's GE Force. So select your product type and then select your series for me it's 30 series. So make sure that you select your series over here and then select your graphic card. Make sure that you select your graphic card and if you have Windows 10 select Windows 10. If you have Windows 11 select Windows 11 then click on search and then click on download. Again click on download and once the download is complete run this exe file. Now once you run the exe file you will see the screen click on agree and continue and then put a check on custom and then click on next and then put a check on the box which says perform a clean installation. So make sure that you put a check over here and then click on next and let the installation complete. Once the installation is complete restart your computer and then launch the game. Now the next step is to run the game on dedicated graphic card. Now for this type in graphic settings in Windows search box and then click on graphic settings. Now click on browse over here and then go to the game installation folder once again and then open the game folder. Select the game exe file click on add. Once the game is added in my case the game is already added. So once the game is added. Let me check. Now let me try it once again. Now click on browse and do the same thing with this WS binaries win64 select this exe file and then click on add. Once the game is added click on options select high performance and then click on save and then launch the game. Now the next step is to verify the game file. Now this is important. So go to steam make a right click on the game select properties and then go to the install files tab and then click on verify integrity of game files. Once the verification is 100% complete, now you can launch the game and then check. Next step is to increase the virtual memory. So to increase the virtual memory, type in view advanced system settings in Windows search box and then click on view advanced system settings and then click on the first settings and then go to advanced tab and then click on change over here and then Select the drive. So uncheck the box which says automatically manage paging file size for all drives. Uncheck this box and select the drive where the game is installed. So select the drive and then once you select the right drive, now put a check on custom size and for initial size it's 1.5 into total RAM. So you can check the total RAM in Windows settings. You can go to system and then go to about and total RAM in my case is 16 gigabyte. So you can calculate accordingly. In my case it's 16 GB. So I will calculate as per 16 GB. So and first of all we have to convert 16 GB into megabyte. So we will open calculator. So type in calculator in run box and then click on OK. And over here uh, it's 16. 1.5 into total RAM. Total RAM in my case it's 16 RAM, 16 GB. So 1 16 into 1024. 1024 is actually 1 GB is equal to 1024 megabyte. So 16 GB in megabyte will be 16384 into 1.5. 1.5 into total RAM. This is my total RAM in megabyte. Now 1.5 into total RAM total RAM that is into 1.5. So in my case initial size is 24576. 24576 and maximum size is 3 into total RAM. Now total RAM in my case that is 16 gigabyte. I have 16 gigabyte of RAM. So 16 into 1024 
I have converted this in megabyte. Megabyte now that is 3 into total RAM. So total RAM is this much into 3. That is 49152. 49152. 491152. Now click on set over here. Then click on OK. OK. Apply. OK. OK. Now restart computer. Make sure that you restart your computer after this. Now the next step is to unplug all the external devices from the computer. So if you have these devices connected, disconnected. Also, if you have additional controller connected, disconnected, launch the game on single monitor. If you have any third party services or application running, you can close this from these services from the task manager. Also disable overlay. Now for this, go to Steam, make a right click on the game, select properties, and then turn off the option which says enable the Steam overlay while in game and then launch the game. Also, if you have any other overlay application running, like if you have Discord running or GeForce Experience running, close it and then check. Also, if you have any kind of overclocking application, then close it like MSI Afterburner, Riva Tuner. If you have any kind of overclocking application, then close overclocking application. To perform clean boot, type in system configuration in Windows search box and then click on system configuration. Now go to the services tab and then put a check on the box which says hide all Microsoft services and then click on disable all. In my case, this option is grayed out. I already did it. In your case, this would be highlighted. So make sure that you put a check on hide all Microsoft services first and then click on disable all and then click on apply, click on OK. You will see a restart option and restart your computer and then launch the game. Also, if you have undervoted your computer, remove the undervote and then launch the game. Next step is to install Visual C++ file. For this, copy this link. The link is provided in the video description. Open this link in a browser. It will take you to Microsoft website. Now you have to install this Visual Studio 2015, 17, 19 and 22. Download this x86 and x64 file. So click on x86 and then run this exe file. Now if you see the repair option, click on repair. If you see the install option, click on install. In my case, I have already installed. So please ignore, ignore the error message because it's telling me to restart my computer. So just ignore it. In your case, this will install successfully. Now download this x64 file. Again, once the download is complete, run this exe file. Again, if you see the repair option, click on repair. If you see install option, click on install, click on yes to allow and let the installation complete. Once the installation is complete, restart your computer and after the system restart, you can launch the game and then check. Now the next step is to update system BIOS. So you can go to your system manufacturer website and then find your computer. Make sure that you select your computer and then install the latest BIOS. Now, before you update the system BIOS in case of laptop, make sure battery on your computer is more than 10% and the AC adapter, the charger is connected to the computer. During the BIOS update, your system will restart. Do not unplug the power cable when it's updating the system BIOS. Now, after the BIOS update, you can log into your computer and then launch the game. Now, if you are able to launch the game, you can skip this step if you are not able to launch the game. If you are able to launch the game, switch to window mode and lo lower down graphics settings. So you can launch the game if you can. Now, once you launch the game, you can go to settings and then go to video. And then if the display is set to full screen, you can try window full screen. You can even switch to window mode. Now, if the resolution is set to 4K, you can try 1920 into 1080p. You can even lower down more. Now over here, if the quality preset is set to very high, you can set it to high. You can even go for medium or you can even go for low quality. Now scroll down. Now over here, you can see vertical sync. So if this is on, you can turn this off and then check. Frame rate, you can set it to 60. Motion blur, you can turn it off. And if you are selecting FSR, in that case, you can turn it off and then check. If you want it on, you can turn it on and you can even turn it off and then check. Now, if you're selecting NVIDIA DLSS in that kit, you can select the quality, set it to quality over here and then confirm the settings and then check the performance. 
Now the last step is to uninstall and reinstall the game. So if nothing is working, you can simply make a right click on the game, select manage, then click on uninstall. Now after the uninstall, go to the game installation folder, delete the game folder, restart your computer and then reinstall the game to C drive. So if the game is installed to D drive or E drive, try installing the game to C drive and then check. If the game is already installed in C drive, then try installing the game to another SSD and then check. So one of the steps shown in this video should help you to get the game running on your Windows computer. So that'll be all. Thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel.